Greetings from the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oklahoma City. This is the Open Heavens for October 14th, 2019. Open Heavens is a daily devotional written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adiboye. We thank the Lord Almighty for the grace that He has given you and I to see another day. We pray that this grace will continue to abound in our lives in Jesus' name. And I pray that even as we go to the study of His words today, His word will minister life into our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. The title for today is Speak No Evil of God's Minister. It's a warning for us. Speak no evil of God's minister. And the memory verse is 1 Peter 3 verse 10, which reads, For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guile. And the Bible reading is 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 23 to 24. 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 23 to 24 reads, Then he went up from there to Bethel, and as he was going up the road, some youths came from the city and mocked him and said to him, Go up, you bald head. Go up, you bald head. So he turned around and looked at them and pronounced a curse on them in the name of the Lord. And two female bears came out of the woods and mauled 42 of the youths. May God bless the reign of his holy word in Jesus' name. Amen. Speak no evil of God's minister. So we're going to be looking at what that entails because from the memory verse it's a warning that we need to be careful of our tongues producing evil, our lips speaking God. And that is what we are looking at today about speaking evil of God's minister. It's not, not something that should be found amongst us. Even Psalm 105 verse 14 we start the devotional of today, talks about touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. And one of the ways in which people can do harm to God's anointed, to God's prophets, is through the use of our mouths, through slandering and speaking evil. So one way to harmfully touch God's anointed is when we slander them or when we speak evil of them, that is a way of harming them. And this is a dangerous thing. When we say we are harming God's minister because of the way we speak of them, or the way we slander them, it is a dangerous thing. Because that arm, even our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, feels the pain of the arm we cause when we slander and speak evil of God's minister. And you know, this can, you can further um, lay credence to this, even from Acts chapter 9, verse 5b. Because we know even when Saul of Tarsus would way to Damascus to persecute Christians, what did Jesus say? Say, I am Jesus whom thou persecuted. Now, we know that, of course, it was not as if they were physically persecuting Jesus at that time. But Jesus was referring to his ministers that were being persecuted at that time. So that's to show you that when we speak evil, when we harm God's minister, Jesus Christ also feels the pain. And that's why it's a dangerous thing for us to harm God's ministers with our tongue or any other form of persecution. And now I say, well, if they harm, if you speak evil of God's minister, one of the ways you can know whether you have done right or wrong is maybe if the minister reacts. But that is giving a warning here that the minister 
that you are speaking evil of may not even need to react. Because it says, even if the Lord's anointed is as humble as Moses, I will not respond to the evil and slanderous comments. What happens? They are self-pronounced causes upon those who speak evil of God's prophet. So irrespective of the response or the reaction of God's ministers and prophets when they are spoken evil of, they are self-pronounced causes that come upon those who do such. That is why it must be avoided at all costs. And a case in point is the case of Miriam and Aaron. They were driven by jealousy. And what happened? Even in Numbers chapter 19, 12, verse 9 to 10. Numbers 12, 9 to 10. We can see the repercussions of what happened to Miriam and um, um, Aaron when they spoke evil of Moses out of jealousy. He said, the anger of the Lord was kindled against them. And Miriam, behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. That's to show you the dire consequences of speaking evil of God's ministers and prophets. And you know, Daddy was also telling, saying something here a bit about this, that even it was surprising that Aaron was even part of those who had to speak evil of uh, Moses. We should not be so. And another thing we can learn from this is that Daddy says that Aaron was also the high priest of God, which means the way we can even relate this, the way I can even interpret this is that even ministers of God should be careful of speaking evil of other fellow ministers of God. Because Aaron was a minister of God, he was a priest, but he slandered and spoke evil of Moses. And if witness the consequence. So beyond generally as believers speaking evil of God's ministers, even fellow ministers of God need to be careful of what they say about other fellow ministers of God. And you know, we talked about that when for some ministers of God they might not respond, but they have, there can still be causes, even if they don't respond or react. But in the Bible reading where we read, that was the case of Elisha. He responded. And we know what happened there. He cursed those youths in the Lord's name. And they all suffered a gruesome death immediately. So that's what happened to those who speak evil of God's minister. Curses. Dark consequences. And that is why it must be avoided at all costs. So the final word that is given us today is that we should be warned of speaking evil of God's ministers because one might not get away with it. And it says, a word is enough for the wise. Rather than speak evil of God's ministers, let us pray for them. Let us do things that will be edifying, that will be praiseworthy, and not speak evil of them or slander them. The prayer point is, set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. Father, in the name of Jesus, O oh God, Lord, we pray, O oh God, that, Lord, this mouth of ours, Father, Lord God Almighty, you will set a watch over it, O oh God. Father, you will keep the door of our lips, O oh God, from speaking evil, O oh God, of God's ministers, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. We thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you tomorrow by God's grace.